I have one question about guided meditation that's come in. And this is about whether you can get to the high concentration of mind by following a guided meditation. And this is a very important question because I'm not saying this particular group of, of meditators, but just generally people tend to rely very heavily on guided meditations and, and guided meditations sometimes are good in the sense of being able to help you through knowing the pathway, particularly an insight pathway of the Buddha, because you may not have done an insight pathway before, like a Jnanapatta. So it's good to be able to follow the course of someone doing the insight pathway, following those instructions of the Buddha, and you know, know how it works if you haven't done it before. And even some subtle nuances can come through and maybe Sometimes the attainment of that person in doing that meditation, if the palachit is up at that time. But in reference to the question about whether you can get to the higher concentration of mind following a guided meditation, the thing is that development of mind, this bhavata chitta, what you recognize in it is that this pathway, like all of them, all of the, the, the development, we're trying to activate the Noble Eightfold Path and develop the Noble Eightfold Path with all the other, other factors. So spiritual fact faculties, Indriya, Bala, the powers, the Bhujanga, the enlightenment factors, Ivipada, all of it. So if you continually only do guided meditation, you don't allow your own faculties to develop, your own path factors to develop. You're riding almost on the coattails of somebody else and you're not able to direct your own meditation. So if that guided meditation is from someone who is highly attained, maybe you can access the higher concentration because in that meditation they did. And, and this can happen live and this can happen also recording. But it, it's... It's a very unique, small uh, opportunity. Most likely you don't access higher mind. So that's why when people ask for guided meditation, sometimes what we do is we allow it, but we caveat it by saying it's really important to uh, do the meditation yourself after you've tried this because you allow your own development to happen. So in the suttas, it always talks about blunt and sharp faculties, whether they're the powers or the, the spiritual faculties and that. So it's very important that you do it on your own because then the pathway starts to open up to you, particular to your karma and also particular to the nuances of maybe what you yourself is going through. Your own examples are very important. Some examples for myself may not be relevant to somebody else, but depending on age, depending on certain circumstances, maybe even depending on cultural type things which are still lingering around. In relation to guided meditation, at some point you have to take the training wheels off because if you keep doing guided meditation all the way through, and you never do the meditation on, you, on your own, then you never take the training wheels off and you don't allow yourself to develop and grow. You, you kind of end up stagnating. And that, that is not something that is recommended. And so this is more of a modern thing. And really, it's to have the confidence to let go of guided meditation, even because you don't have time and, and it's the best you can do. At some point, you have to to do it yourself and when you do that that's when certain things start to unfold and that's when even some of the insight that you get is what feeds into your daily life your daily practice and, it, and it's symbiotic it goes formal meditation daily life practice back and forth back and forth inside wisdom grows the spiritual faculties sharpen understanding sharpens so on and so forth, right view gets corrected, all of that. The other thing is some guided meditations are actually bad for you. Depending on who you listen to and who's doing the guided meditation, you go into dull samadhi. There's no chance of directing it out of there. Might be rooted in, in wrong view. So there's all these subtle things that are subtle and gross things that are happening in guided meditation. So you need to be quite careful. So hopefully that answers that question on... Uh, the higher mind and guided meditation.